How's it going everyone? I'm M. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Razer Chroma addressable RGB controller. Thank you so much for all of your comments requesting me to review this thing. I finally bought it on the Razer site. I think I paid like £20 for shipping and this, this hub itself was like £40. So I'll leave a link in the description down below to where you can buy this as well if you're interested and if you like this product after seeing this video. I hope it lives up to the hype but apparently the RGB control through this should be significantly better than what is currently possible using let's say like your addressable RGB motherboard software like MSI Dragon Center which is currently controlling all of my PC internals as you can probably see and all of this is controlled through Razer and then MSI is like controlling all of the PC internals because you know everything is syncing up. Now the box that it came in is absolutely tiny and there's a box within a box Okay, do we get Razer stickers with this one? That is obviously the ultimate question right here. You do, you get one uh, like shiny Razer sticker, cool. I've gone ahead and unboxed it all. We have a cable to of course power the hub itself. The entire hub is made out of plastic, but you know what, it actually doesn't feel of like bad quality or anything. It's actually quite nice. Uh, it's like a matte finish, no glossy plastic going on. And the entire bottom side of it appears to be using some kind of like non-slip rubber, which is always a good addition. Now this appears to almost be in the size of like a two and a half inch SSD drive, judging by the holes right here. So maybe you could actually like attach this into like an SSD bay and keep it there. But in terms of how many addressable RGB devices you can plug into this thing, we have one, two, three on this side and another three on the other side. One of the sides is flat and actually says hashtag chroma everything. On top there's nothing apart from Razer Chroma RGB and then on this side we have a micro USB input as well as power. Now it comes with two cables by the looks of things. One of them is, you guessed it, micro USB which is going to plug in like this and then this is going to plug into an internal USB header in your motherboard. Hopefully you have one spare, but if you don't, I'll leave a link in the description down below to where you can buy an NZXT internal USB splitter hub, just in case you've ran out of internal USB ports on your motherboard. I remember I ran into that issue and I might be running into it again, but I hope I have one spare to actually plug this thing in. Now, in terms of actually powering this device, this is gonna plug in with like, I'm guessing like a DC or something power into there. And then this is just simply a Molex three pin, well, four pin slash three pin like connector. So this is how it's gonna power up. You're gonna plug this into your motherboard so we can actually sync up with Razer. And yeah, overall, it seems like a very straightforward product to set up. Now, one thing that I tested immediately after unboxing it is whether or not this thing is magnetic. And the answer is no, it's not. This is, I would say, a missed opportunity, but maybe there's a reason why they couldn't put magnets inside of it. Who knows? Despite it not having magnets, it did come with tape though. So there's like two double-sided pieces of tape. So you can attach this thing permanently into your case using tape if you want to do that, but I'm gonna probably just leave it dangling around somewhere inside of the back of the case. But before we do that, I wanna show you the standard way of controlling the addressable RGB components inside of your rig. Now, thankfully, 99% of components inside of here can sync up together, apart from the front of this PC case, which is non-RGB. This Razer logo cannot change colors, absolutely heartbreaking. But as you can see, I'm currently on MSI Mystic Lite. This is what MSI called their RGB control, and I've enabled the game sync functionality. I can turn it off, and then the lighting effects will go back to whatever they were before. But if I enable game sync, and hopefully it actually works, we should see that within Synapse, MSI Mystic Light is indeed working. And if we go onto Chroma Studio, I've gone ahead and set up several LED lighting effects through Razer Studio. So the one I have enabled right now is Spectrum and the PC literally isn't even syncing up anymore. Hold up, game sync, please actually work. I feel like this is maybe why they actually came up with this product in the first place, because MSI Dragon Center and the Razer game sync functionality through it, it doesn't always work as you can currently see. It was working a second ago. Come on, man. <laughs> it literally was working a second ago. Dude. Three hours later. Let's try to turn it off and back on again. Game sync. Uh, come on. <laughs> Why won't you work? One eternity later. Right, so this is everything set to rainbow through Dragon Center. But just please sync up with Razor, man. You, you were working a second ago, like. This is embarrassing. Oh, just took a little while. <laughs> I'm 
Surely this has to be the reason why Razer thought maybe we should come out with this product. Like I said a second ago, we were on the spectrum cycle effect and as you can see everything is working thankfully and I can switch it up a little bit just to give you some other ideas of like what's possible in terms of LED lighting through MSI Mystic Light and Razer syncing up, all right, you know, hopefully syncing up. Unfortunately, as you can see, through MSI Mystic Light and Razer, when you're using Razer Chroma Studio, for example, to control your LED lighting effects, because, you know, Razer is just the main application that you use, for example, it is very, very limited. So we can basically only set all of the ARGB components in our PC to a single color. You can't really do wave lighting effects, as I will now demonstrate. Warning, you know, this is gonna look terrible. Right, um, as you can see, would you call this an effective wave lighting effect? Oh my lord, this is like an actual light show. Not the good kind, because this is like seizure inducing. Oh dear god. <laughs> I just looked behind me. I'm gonna stop with the wave lighting effect, because this is insane. This is actually crazy. So I'm gonna go back to spectrum, because this one's a bit more bit more normal, a bit less chaotic. Now, I wonder if the visualizer also works for the PC. I've never tried this, but I want to. All right, sick music, dude. Let's go. Now, thankfully, through Razer working with Nano, I'm gonna turn this down because this doesn't have to be that loud. I'm gonna turn down Nano Leaf just a tad so you can see the colors changing. But this is like seizure inducing. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, My room has become a disco. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm worried for myself here. What if I get a seizure whilst making this video? Okay, maybe this is what I, was, I should have been running, but no, the nano leaves, what are you doing? Does this look normal to you? I feel like my RGB components will break because of, oh no, the bass drop. Lord help us. Let's get this thing installed, I've had enough of this. Right, we're shutting down. Now, with the Razer case, the side panels are easily removable, thankfully. All right, this is what we're currently dealing with at the back right here. I'm very sorry about the actually rather terrible cable management, but it is what it is, it is what it is. So, we've got the hub right here. Now, oh, God, I hope I actually have like Molex connectors back here because I really am not sure if I do. Who uses Molex? Razer, you could have used SATA power. Like actually you could have used SATA power. I would have appreciated that so much. Why Molex, man? I think I might be in trouble here, boys. Oh, I'm praying that I have a Molex somewhere. I don't. I have so many spare SATA powers. I hope I have like a Molex cable inside of here. This is all I am after. And oh, look at this. We actually have Molex. We have two spare Molex cables. Okay, I've acquired what I need. I have my Molex. Thankfully, through the Razer PC case, you can open this up and you have access to your power supply. This is the one thing that I'll definitely praise Razer for because this definitely makes my life so much easier. I can plug in the whole Molex thing and we can finally power this Razer hub. Now, it's, it's pretty simple for the most part, but I do wish that they used SATA power because Molex, mate. Who uses Molex, bro? <laughs> oh, the cable management. Oh, man. Right, let's get that plugged in. Now, I believe I only actually have three addressable RGB devices, so let's try get these things in here. So there's one. Bruh. Is that in? That doesn't sound healthy. This is a tight fit, but I hope I don't break anything here. I hope this still works after I'm done with it, lol. Honestly, if I can shut my case after this, I'm gonna be very happy. Oh no. Right, I just wanna shut the case. I don't wanna spend any more time looking at the cable management disaster. Please just, just close. Nope, that's, that's not gonna cut it. Oh my God. When you have this much RGB, you can't shut your case. Oh, look at that, it's, it's closed. Okay, let's never look back there again. No! Bro, nah, if that opens up, it opens up. 
Will she boot? Okay, the fans are on. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> yes, I no longer need to use my crazy three three way addressable RGB splitter cable. That can go back in the box. All right, thankfully we're back on the PC. Let's update Razer Synapse because that is what it wants us to do. The PC looks very dark at the moment and that is because the Li and Li Uni fans, I have unplugged their internal USB header. There were two ports, I unplugged one of them. I must have unplugged the Razer case instead thinking I'm unplugging the Uni fans because I'm pretty sure this software for the Li and Li Uni fans would not be working if there was no internal USB thingy plugged in. Restart your PC. We'll be right back. Watch it start like a Windows update now, <laughs> like perfect timing. Pro tip, if you own this PC case as well, if you want to quickly turn off this green Razer logo, just yank on this side of the case ever so slightly. You know, maybe not the best advice in the world, but it will turn off that, that, that green logo there. The Lee and Lee fans, they, they clearly appear to be working right now. <laughs> Right, oh my god, please. I hope this syncs up and actually works, man. That would be so sick. Okay, port one, it thinks it's an LED strip. Add 90 degree bend, what? Okay, this is more advanced than I thought it was. Port one, eight LEDs. Port two, 19 LEDs. Port three is 43 LEDs. Let's just set everything to spectrum cycle because obviously that is just an easy way to do things. Okay, now, um, right, that, that's working okay. However, I've noticed the Lian Li Uni fans, if you can see that as well, they're meant to continue on here and they're meant to continue on over there. So whichever one is the Lian Li Uni fan, let's set these as different colors, these three devices here, so I can figure out what is what, because at the moment, I have no idea. Let's set this to red, so three will be red, it said that there are, ooh, where is the accessory? Do you have to go to accessory? Then this, okay. So 40 LEDs. Okay, maybe not. Let's do 32 LEDs. Will that update straight away? Whew, that is a lot of LEDs for a fan. Lol. <laughs> Let's set them to red. Will that be all of the, oh man. Yeah, these Lee and Lee Uni fans, they ain't playing around, dude. They have so many LEDs, we need more. We need more. 32 is not enough. Is the max actually 40? Is 40 enough? <laughs> no! <laughs> the Lee and Lee fans, they're, they're too OP, bro. I mean, this is like close enough, but just a, a little bit more, man. <laughs> Detected LED count, 43. You may edit manually, please. Okay, so if it's an LED light strip, you can do it manually. How many is that? 50. Let's try 50. Come on. Come on. 50 LEDs. Maybe we've, maybe we've gone over the top. Okay, okay. It might be less than 50. Now that we know that, let's go back onto accessory and increase this to 20 because it is not 19 LEDs. It is definitely more than 19. Delete the static effect because it is no longer needed. And for spectrum cycle, let's select this color save. Now bear in mind that we are still using MSI Mystic Lite through Game Sync as it is actually synced up. As we booted up the PC it legit automatically synced up which is very good. Happy to see that. So we're controlling the GPU, the motherboard lights and the RAM through the MSI software and we are doing everything else through the Razer Chroma controller. Here it is. All right this is I would say a much better result than before, like way better. Especially through the front fans, you can see the way the light, it begins there and it continues on all the way to the, the last fan there. Like it's, it's actually perfect. Now we could take this one step further by going on to MSI Dragon Center, disabling Game Sync, because let's say if you do wanna do a rainbow lighting effect, I would recommend you don't use MSI Dragon Center through Game Sync instead, just do it through MSI Dragon Center, set it all to rainbow, and then your RAM will be on rainbow mode and your GPU will be on rainbow mode, so will your motherboard. And if you have an RGB SSD, which I do have an RGB SSD that's behind the graphics card, unfortunately, so you can't really see it, but everything is now on rainbow mode, if this is what you would want. This would be the result. Now, perhaps I have misconfigured this in some way through the software, but I've gone ahead and set 
12 of the LEDs, I think this is 12, to green. Now, it not only impacts that fan up there, it also impacts this fan here. And whatever I do to that fan happens to this fan. Technically, we could maybe get more LEDs assigned if we wanted to. Like, I'm not sure what the limit is. Let's try 99. Maybe nine. Oh my lord, that is 99 the limit? The limit appears to be 80 LEDs. Bro, is 80 too much? This, this, feels, this feels wrong. Right, I reckon this will look cool. Let's see if I'm right. Hey, well that's kind of hard to see because they're such similar colors. Perhaps I would need to like plug the Lian Li Unifans into different slots, if you get what I mean, on their own hub. Because maybe this is why things aren't as perfect as they could be. But that's not bad. At least like these two here are behaving as they should. Even this Lian Li Strimmer 24 pin motherboard RGB cable is compatible and does actually work. That's wicked, man. What really did impress me though is how well the wave lighting effect looked like. Because from here you can see like everything is genuinely synced up really well. Even like in this corner here where if you do like a different lighting effect it's maybe not as good but I'd like to apologize in advance for everyone watching this video, but we're about to enable the music visualizer now with the Razer Chroma addressable controller. That <laughs> looks crazy. So this is definitely a different uh, effect than last time. At least from what I can remember. This looks different. Whether or not it's an improvement, I don't know, man. It looks good on the keyboard and everything, but I mean, if you want to like get a seizure, Enable the music visualizer. It definitely looks sick on the keyboard and you maybe don't want to overdo it with everything Because oh Jeez, I don't think I can take this any longer. I can't spectrum cycle. This can't look too bad, right? And I guess it kind of works Perhaps this is not designed for like the music visualizer Anyway, I hope you have found today's video helpful. I'm gonna end it here because I could literally sit here for hours just experimenting with different lighting effects. But honestly, the end result, this is pretty damn good. They could maybe improve a couple things with the LED detection. That wasn't really on point, but maybe that's not Razer's fault. So overall, pretty cool product. Like the fact that you can have individual LED control over your addressable RGB devices might actually make this thing worth it. For that single feature alone, that might actually make this thing, you know, somewhat worth buying. If only they had used SATA power, that would have been like the cherry on top and also made the back of it magnetic so that you could just like install it into like the back of your PC case. So much easier than sticky tape. Apart from those minor complaints, pretty decent product. I approve. As with all my videos, there will of course be dozens of links in the video description down below to everything you've seen in this gaming setup, including the lights, all of the PC internals, and if you want to go learn more about this PC in general, I did recently make a video installing a new liquid cooler, upgrading the graphics card, installing these Lian Li Uni fans. So if you want to go learn anything else about the PC internals, check out the channel. There's plenty of videos that I've posted. So, but apart from all that, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye.